Hello friends, in the name of Jesus, I welcome you all to yet another session of the Catechism. Dear friends, today we shall learn about an altar which was once part of the Catholic Church. It were given special privileges. So let us know why those privileges were given to an altar and why it was taken away. A privileged altar is an altar in a Roman Catholic Church where a plenary indulgence can be gained for a soul in purgatory whenever a mask is offered. The plenary indulgence is usually attached in celebration of a requiem holy mass to the particular intention of a soul at the privileged altar. An altar at which, according to Roman Catholic canon law until 1967, a plenary indulgence could be secured for a soul in purgatory by the application of a mass celebrated on it. An altar is said to be privileged when in addition to the ordinary fruits of the Eucharistic sacrifice, a plenary indulgence is also granted whenever a mass is celebrated thereon. The indulgence must be applied to the individual soul for whom mass is offered. The privileged altar must be a fixed or a immovable altar, but in a wider sense that it must be stationary or permanent. Two examples of privileged altars are the Vallarpadam Church in Kerala and St. Thomas of Canterbury Church in Canterbury. To gain the plenary indulgence, the Mass must be a Mass of Requiem. According to traditional understanding, a plenary indulgence is the remission of part or all of the temporal punishment due to sin and this remission was formerly the primary focus of a Pope granting or bestowing an indulgence. It was the relief for the poor souls in purgatory which was the goal of the privileged altar. This privilege is of two kinds, local or personal. It is local when it is annexed to the altar as described above. Hence, whoever the priest may be who celebrates Mass at such an altar, the plenary indulgence is gained for a soul. It is personal when it is inherent in the priest itself, so that it does not depend on the altar but on the priest who celebrates it. Hence, on whatever altar he may celebrate, whether it is a fixed or a portable one, and in whatever church he celebrates, the altar he uses is for the time being a privileged altar. When a priest offers holy mass, he gains many graces for the poor souls in purgatory, even more if he offers a mass for the dead. But when a priest offers a requiem mass on an altar that is privileged, once a day he can gain for the soul for whom the mass was said a plenary indulgence. These privileged altars were abolished because it was not an act performable by the faithful and because the conciliar theology considered that the poor souls did not need more suffrage than what was provided through any holy mass. Perhaps the change is a sad fact, but we as Catholics must recognize the Holy Father is the keeper of the St. Peter's keys and he can change the discipline if he so wishes, and that even if he persist in saying the old indulgenced prayers, remember that God is no longer bound therein by the power of Peter. For the case of the privilege of the privileged altars, the short answer is that there are no more privileged altars, but every mass offered in every altar can gain a plenary indulgence for a soul to whom the mass is offered. The privileged altars became unimportant to the conciliar faithful because the faithful could not make an act for which to be rewarded because only a priest who said mass could gain the indulgence. Although these ecclesiastic privileges no longer exist, Pope St. Paul VI makes a note of this formatting in his apostolic constitution, Indulgentiarum Doctrina. Holy Mother Church, extremely solicitous for the faithful departed, has decided that suffrages can be applied to them to the widest possible extent at any sacrifice of the Mass whatsoever, abolishing all special privileges in this regard. 
the grant of the privileged altars were replaced by Norm 20 of Pope Paul VI, which expanded the grant of the plenary indulgence explained above to all the holy masses offered in the world, whatsoever, wherever or whomever they were celebrated by. Therefore, friends, every single holy mass that we partake every day is an opportunity to pray for the intention of a soul in purgatory so that they may attain plenary indulgence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.